Is the microphone fine here? Hi, my name is Breno and I'm a made PhD student working in this project, collaboration between DTU and Fujifilm. Fujifilm is a contract development and manufacturing company and it produces medicines for other pharmaceutical companies. My PhD is in the digitalization of production where we are trying to apply Industry 4.0 tools in the pharmaceutical world. So we try to apply machine learning in the drug substance uh, department. They produce drug from the very beginning of the drug where you have cells in a small flask and then you grow the cells, you move them to single unit uh, tanks, small tanks, then you grow them to bigger tanks, but in the end we are already with cells in uh, 20,000 liters bioreactors. So it's very important that we measure all the parameters throughout the whole process, because in the end we have a huge batch that uh, we don't want to lose it, right? If the batches uh, have uh, the wrong pH value, the cells start to die, for instance. When you are dealing with live cells, it's hard to predict how they are going to form and evolve in time because there are a lot of parameters and they all have different uh, dependencies among, amongst each other. What is um, coming up in, in the recent uh, years is that you apply a hybrid machine learning where you have both uh, mathematical models, the, the ones that you know, and historical data in order to predict how your batch is going to be. That is exactly what we are working with. We look at the historical data and with them we can optimize the parameters. We want to reduce to zero the number of loss batches. So far in the project we were able to optimize the final yield, help the production scientists to map the most critical parameters. A few of them that I can mention are, for instance, the viable cell density, the cell diameter, and uh, pressure, um, temperature. If they apply into batch uh, next year, uh, we will have some results and we will keep on recording the batch records because the more data we have, the more robust our model gets and we can have more res better results because machine learning requires a lot of data. So I would like to ask for the next student, how have they overcome any difficulties regarding regulations or compliances within Denmark or the world?